Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I am showing you a new feature that was snuck into Divi version 4.18.1, and that is the live cart quantity text that shows next to the shopping cart icon in the Divi menu. So I'm just gonna show you quick how to turn that on and then uh, give you a couple bonus styling CSS snippets. Let's take a look at this. So clearly you can see here, if you're familiar with it, this was never an option. Putting this number one item or two items, three items text next to the cart, it always just gave you the option for the cart icon, that was it. And so for years, you know, we would use this really long PHP snippet to hack this, right? And provide a live count update when you add an item to the cart, like when you're using WooCommerce. Now you can do it directly with a toggle. Let me show you how quickly this is to enable. It's just a setting, right? So I have it on obviously, but it's in the elements toggle. Okay. So open your menu settings, elements, and when this show shopping cart icon is enabled. So first you would have to enable that, then enable show cart quantity. See that? You can see it being turned on and off. It's that simple. Now in the design tab, we, well, let's turn it on first. In the design tab, we have this new toggle here with settings, cart quantity text. So, you know, obviously you know what to do here. You can change the, all the text, whatever you need to do here. Um, you can change the color. But you, as you can see though, it is a bit limited. You know, what about if you wanted to put this in a background or something like that? So I have actually given you some snippets for that. First of all, let's jump over to the blog post. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click the link in the description because you know, you'll know you come and get my snippets here and you can read if you like to read. Um, there it is, exactly what I just showed you, turning on the toggle, here's how it looks, here's the design settings. So here you go. Um, I give you a couple examples here in some screenshots, but if I copy this, or I could use this button, and I come over here, yeah, let's exit this here once. All right, I'm gonna use this user CSS Chrome extension, and I'll just paste this in. Now this is just showing you, you could do this. You could put like an outline around this. Um, you could put it in a box, make the border right, radius round, whatever. I'm just giving you this snippet in case you want to use that, okay? You could modify that. The point of a lot of these snippets that I give you are as a base, and then you can modify it. Let's take the next one. This one I really like. I think this is the most useful. It creates like a pill shape around um, the entire thing. And again, this is just example stuff that you can, you know, work with. Um, you could do whatever you need to do here. You could add a border, get rid of the background, get rid of the, whatever. You, you do what you do what you need to there. I'm just giving you the snippet and I even gave you one here for the cart icon. In fact, I did not put any CSS in that one, but you could, you could say um, background, um, uh, let's see, padding, All right? do that. Um, obviously you can change the color of that in the settings. So anyway, thought I would just throw those little uh, snippets in because obviously this is um, a very basic tutorial and what a great time to plug my simplified Divi changelog. So if you are following it, pacreative.com Divi changelog, here you can see that it's simplified and easy to read and we are going to look here and you can see right here added cart quantity option to the menu and full width menu module. So I read, you know, every line of these change logs because they're sometimes very exciting little things tucked away. And so I saw it the other day, I'm like, ah, I gotta let people know because, and the reason I'm making a tutorial out of this is literally because it did take a lot of work to try to hack this and try to do this. Um, you had to either buy a plugin or add a lot of code snippets. So the point of this is to just let you know, hey, now it's easy, now you can do it. So anyway, hope you found that valuable and yeah, we'll see you all in the next video.